Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a bunch of wet and wild cosmetics and I will be using this to create this look over here. I am going to create this soft smoky eyes plus classic red lips look. So if you want to see how to get this look, please keep on watching. I have already cleansed and moisturized my face and now I am starting off with a primer. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Face Primer and this primer was so glowy, it was so good. That's why I applied this all over my face. Generally with the mattifying primer, I go only in my T-zone but with this primer, I went all over my face. And you can see it gave such a beautiful glow. Now next for the foundation, I am using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. This one is in the shade Golden Beige. The applicator was really convenient and I used this foundation for the first time. This is such a good and affordable foundation guys like this will not leave a white cast on your face if you blend this properly and this is medium to full coverage so that's all I want in a foundation. Now just to set everything in place, I am taking my Real Technique sponge and just dabbing it all over my face. Make sure you blend everything in really nicely to get a flawless base. Now next I am taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus concealer and this is in the shade medium tawny and I am applying this under my eyes and I went a little overboard with this concealer just because I wanted some coverage. Now I will also be applying this concealer in the areas that I like to highlight that is my chin in between my brows and my nose and also around my mouth because hyperpigmentation is still there just because we used a medium coverage foundation. Now next I tried to do cream contouring and for that I used Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick. This is in the shade Oaks on You and this was not dark enough for me to contour but still I went in with it and I ended up with a soft contour. But this was really very creamy guys and really very blendable. Although the shade did not match me like it was not perfect for me but still it was good. Now I left the concealer over there for a little while because I just wanted to get some more coverage so that's why I decided to blend my contour first. Now next I'm going to blend the concealer and for that I'm using the pack concealer brush 218. The concealer was so blendable and so creamy guys, it blended like a dream.
now next i'm going to take a large powder brush and with that i'm going to take the wet n wild photo focus pressed powder in the shade warm beige and then i'm going to set my whole face except my under eyes for my under eyes i will be using a different powder Now for setting my under eyes I am going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This is in the shade Dulce de Lec and uh, I took a Wet n Wild brush too. This is from their Pro brush line. This is the Precision Setting Brush. Now next I am taking the same concealer and applying it on my eyelids just to prime my eyelids and provide an eyeshadow base. Now I'm blending it in. Now to set the concealer in place, I am again taking the same powder and just setting my eyes. Now for eyeshadow I am going to take the Wet n Wild color icon eyeshadow quad and this is in the shade silent treatment and now I am using the first shade as my transition shade and I am applying this with a fluffy blending brush. This brush is also from Wet n Wild from their pro brush line. Information about the product is in the description box so do not forget to check that. Now this shade was really very blendable and really very nice. This was really a perfect transition shade. Now next I am taking a flat blending brush from Wet n Wild and Next I am going in with that black shade into my crease. Now this took some time in blending. I kept applying the shade with the tapered blending brush and then I kept blending it with the fluffy one. The fluffy one worked better than the tapered one. Now as you can see I switched on to the fluffy one and now I am blending with that. Now these brushes were a little bit on the costlier side because they were for $5.99 each. Now next I took that uh, transition shade again and now I am blending everything in. Now again I took that black shade and again I am just building it up. So I'm placing the color with the tapered blending brush and then blending everything in with the fluffy one. Now I'm taking this eyelid shade and just an eyelid brush and just applying it on my eyelid. Now I am not doing a cut crease guys so I will be blending this shimmery shade a little bit. Like right now I am just applying it and afterwards I will be blending this in. Now I am blending this in. This eyeshadow palette was really easy to apply. The colors blended in really well except for the black one. Like it also blended in well but still it took time. 
now next i'm taking the eyeliner this is also from wet n wild this is the wet n wild waterproof eyeliner in the shade dark brown I applied the eyeliner just to give a little definition to my eyes and just made a small wing. Now next I completed the other eye and I am taking this transition shade and applying it on my lower lash line. Now I also cleaned the outer corner of my eyes like the eyeshadow over there was a little bit dirty due to extra blending so I just cleaned it up with a concealer you can do that too it's very simple. Now I am taking this dark color over here and then going with that in my lower lash line too. Now I'm taking the Lash Renegade Mascara from Wet n Wild and just applying it on my eyelashes. Now this mascara was really good, it did hold my lashes. I also curled my lashes. This one is in the shade Brazen Black. And now for my eyebrows, I'm taking the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil and this one is in the shade Dark Brown. Now brows are done and I also applied some false eyelashes. They are from PAC, they are the 213 eyelashes and now I'm taking this brow bone shade over here and just applying it on my brow bone. Now for powder contouring I am going to take the same palette and using the contour shade and a pack 234 brush I am contouring the areas that I like to contour. Now there was one more shade available that was a caramel toffee in the mega glow contouring palette but I guess that was too warm for me so that's why I decided to go with this one. So this contour was really perfect for my face and this suited my face. Now for highlighter, I am taking the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter. This is in the shade Precious Petal. And with the help of the same precision setting brush, I am applying this highlighter on the high points of my face. And now I'm taking the highlighter and a round brush and just applying the highlighter in the inner corner of my eyes. Now next for blush I'm taking the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Pearlescent Pink. Now this was such a nice pink peachy blush. And last but not the least, for lipstick I am going to take the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick. This one is in the shade Missy and Fierce. I do overline my lips a little bit just to make them look little fuller. And there you go with the completed look.
that was the completed look guys if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit that notification bell and share this video